All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the first game of four for the Intermule Championship Nights here at softball. Uh, here at Sportsplex Field number 16, our first game will be against the Phi Sigma Kappa and Delta Chi in the Small Fraternity Championships. My name is Noah Phillips. I am joined by Daniel Locke. Daniel, how are you doing on this fine afternoon? No, I'm doing very good. The sun is out of our eyes for now, so that's always a good sign. Looking forward to some good softball action here today. And uh, you bring up the sun. We had the Dodge rain to even be out here, so it's a miracle that sun's even out. Yes. So the visiting team will be Delta Chi, or excuse me, Phi Sigma Kappa. They'll be up first to hit. Delta Chi will be in the uh, pitching. Batting first for Phi Sigma Kappa is Hank Hilaire, and he's already got a hit as that one drops just out of reach of the sec uh, second baseman as we're already off to a quick single. Next up, number 10, Mark Andrews. Here's the pitch. Be a ball. Uh, something about this sport that makes it interesting. All counts start at 1 1. Here's another pitch. And that's going to be ball number three for Mark Andrews. He's got to swing the bat here, Noah. I mean, yeah. Here's another one, but that's going to be the first strike of the day as it is a full count 3 2. There's the pitch. There's a swing. Now goes right to the second baseman. And that is out. Shortstop just barely caught it. That was almost a botched double play by Delta Chi. I am just kind of surprised that they were able to get one. There. He threw it really late as well. Uh, next up is Luke Boyce, number 36, from Charleston, South Carolina. He's a big old boy. He kind of reminds me of a, I don't know, a David Ortiz. And there's the pitch, and that is a one out, and that's going to be a fallen soldier out there on second base. Should have been two. Yeah, and that's just kind of what's – I feel like that's really going to set this game apart. Now we've got another big guy coming up. Got to find a way to get another out on the ground. Can't let him hit in the air. That big guy is Christian King. That's going to be a big – Hit straight to the pitcher, and there's out number three in the top of the first. Two hits, or excuse me, one hit, three fielder's choices, and one left on base, as it'll be Delta Chi come up to hit now. And let's run through the starting lineups for Delta Chi. We have batting first is George Chamberlain from Valley, Alabama. Batting second, Cole Eden from Charlotte, North Carolina. Batting third, Luke Darwish from Kennesaw, Georgia. Batting fourth, Kyle Eaker from Wimberley, Texas. Batting fifth, Matt Braley from Todd Bell, North Carolina. Batting sixth, Tommy White from Athens, Alabama. Batting seventh, Dylan Hall from Albany, Georgia. Batting eighth, Thomas Kessling from Huntsville, Alabama. Batting eleventh, wait, excuse me. Batting ninth, Aaron Hopkins from Atlanta, Georgia. And batting tenth, Joe Obrock from Baltimore, Maryland. And pitching for five, uh, five Sigma Kappa today will be number six from Prattville, Alabama, Hayden Anderson. I wish I knew what his ERA was. I'm sure it's good. Yeah, I'm sure. There's a big hit straight to the third baseman, and third baseman's going to gobble that one up. That's we have a runner on first. That did have air. On the third baseman. Next up is Cole Ethan. There's a swing right past the shortstop. We could have a runner home. There's a throw into second, and they're going to stop him at third and second. Runners in scoring position, one out. Next up to bat, Luke Drawson. You know, very good situation here for Luke, batting Runners, two runners in scoring position. There's the big hit, and that's going to fall. One comes across. Runner at second will advance to third, and we got ourselves the first run of the game. Delta Chi goes up by one. 
And as we were talking about, that run's very important. Whoever was going to score first, they've put themselves in a great, great position here today. Kyle Yeeter, there's the pitch. There's the swing. Ground out to the third baseman. He's going to bobble it. And throw to second goes overhead as a run comes in. Man, two errors on the same guy on the same play. Make it three errors on the same guy on the same play. Goodness gracious, if you're a manager, you have got to think about a substitution here. He does not have his stuff here today. Indeed, that's a bad, bad sign of this game for Sigma Chi as Delta Chi will advance up 2 nothing. As Matt Braley is going to hit this one right at the shortstop, He's just going to hold it in his hand as another run for Delta Chi comes in to score. And at this point, they're up 3 0. That's as good of a first inning as you can ask for. Still no outs in this game. Bases loaded. They, uh, five Sigma Kappa needs a double play. Tommy White, pitch, hit, right past the second baseman. And they're rounding him on third. He's coming and he's going to score. Delta Chi advances to four to nothing. They got runners on first and third with zero outs. Five Sigma Kappa has got to find a way to get out of this inning or this one will be over before it even starts. Next up, Dylan Hall. Junior from, senior from Albany, Georgia. That's going to be a hit. It's going to go right down the third phase line as one's going to come in to score and the throw in the third is off his leg. But it won't stop anybody from advancing any farther as Delta Chi adds another run. It's 5 nothing for Delta Chi. Since it looks like this will be relevant here today, we'll take a look at the rule book. If one team is a 15-run lead after three innings, there will be a mercy rule. If there's a 10-run lead after five innings, there will be a mercy rule. Here's the pitch. And that's a ball. It'll be 2-1. Batting is number 14, Thomas Hessling, a junior from Huntsville, Alabama. There's the pitch. It bounces. Ball three. Wind's picking up here. It's blowing my sheets away. It might blow the balls away. There's another pitch. And that's going to hit them. And it's going to be ball four as bases are loaded for freshman Aaron Hopkins. Still no outs here, Noah. That's uh, you got to get someone going in the bullpen, I think. Yes. No one is. There's the pitch, and that ball is going far, and it falls. One comes in, two come. They're going to send another one. As two runs come in for Delta Chi, they extend the lead seven to two off a Aaron Hopkins double that made me stand up because I thought we were looking at it almost home run right there. Luke Saint Hilaire, the Four or five super Kappa really dropped the ball on that one, literally. Dabrowski's going to hit this one in the short stop, and that's going to be the first out of the bottom of the first. But either way, one's going to come in. That's doing a job if you're Joe Dabrowski right there with the hit. This reminds me of 2019 divisional round, game five, Atlanta Braves, St. Louis Cardinals, first inning. <laughs> yes. There's another big hit, big fly out. That one is going to be caught. As they're going to tag one up, he got a late jump, but it's not going to matter as he's in to score. Delta Chi extends the lead 9-0 in the bottom of the first. Batting for, get a little good. Batting for the second time this inning, Cole Ethan. There's the pitch. That's a big hit. Line out to the left fielder. And five Sigma Kappa is finally able to claw and dig their way out of that inning. But the damage is done. They now find themselves out down nine to nothing. And in a softball game like this, nine to nothing is almost as dominant as anyone could ask for. It really, really is. You're almost in the double figures after nine. I mean, after one inning played, you've got to think they'll be able to score six more before the end of the third. I think they could, too. <laughs> At this point, Phi Sigma Kappa will be doing good to just not get themselves mercy rule. As you can see, uh, this isn't a normal <laughs> softball pitch for used to watching people like Bree Ellis play softball. Uh, this has a 6 to 12 feet rule. It has to go 6 feet above and 12 feet uh, below. It has to look like a 6-12 curve. Kinda a lot slower though. Yeah.
starting off for six, six. I see Macapa. There's a pitch to Travis Harvey. He starts his at bat 2-1. There's the pitch. That's a hit right to center fielder, but it's going to drop right before him as he gets an easy single to start the top of the second. That's the start you need right now if you're five sticking with cap. You got to in they they got to get him around. Got to give him around. And he's nine runs to even tied up at this point. Next up to hit Andrew Fonda. So there's the pitch. That one's going to fall in as a ball. Two one. Pitch two. Looks hittable, and it is. Right back to the pitcher. There's one. Not going to be two. I really like that decision there. Just get the force out at second, cut down the lead runner, and now uh, there's an out, and they don't have a runner in scoring position yet. Hey, they've got a lot of runs to play with if you're Delta Kappa. You do. Delta Chop. Hayden Anderson up at the plate. There's the pitch. That's a hit right back to the pitcher again. Right over to second. Oh, on the throw, that should be a force out, and it is. That ends the bottom of the second. He does not look good. He may be down for a while. He got hit right in the jaw. But obviously he got in the way of the throw line for the second baseman, forcing this uh, out at first, making it a double play, ending the second inning. And he's up. He's going right back now. Oh, that's bad. This you never want to see. No. He's back up. He's running off. That's the senior from Tampa, Florida, Andrew Fonda. He put the hit face right there. Let's get more to the face. I know he's bleeding. I'm glad that we got that one off camera for the viewers at home. Yes. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break as we wait for everything else to be settled in here at uh, Sportsplex Field number 16. Sharing has never meant as much as it does now. Everything is up for the world to see. But what if the sharing could be used to make a difference? The National MS Society is building a place where everyone can share their experiences for good. If you have a story, share it. If you have a solution, what? All right, folks. Delta Kyle's up the bat again. There's the hit. Right to the second baseman. Error. It's going to be one at first. This is one of the worst fielding performances I've ever seen. It is. They need a clinic. Maybe it can be put on by Sonny Teixeira. Yes, it could. Mickey Dean. There's a big hit. Oh, my Lord. That ball is back. And it's going to hit the fence. It's at least a double for... Number 24, Kyler Yanker. They're sending him to four inside the Parker as Delta Ka increases their lead to 11. Utter. It's not every day you see that. No, it is not. That was a big man. He ran for that one. I feel like we're definitely on pace for a mercy rule here in game one. We are on pace for that. That's another big hit, but it's right to the left fielder hitting that with Matt. Barley, sophomore from Topsail, North Carolina. Yeah, that is St. Hilaire, New Orleans guy. 
who was able to make that catch. Dylan Hall's got it now at the batter's box. He's going to take ball two. Excuse me, almost said one. That's a big hit. That's going to go far, and it's going to drop right in a gap. He's going to be able to get two. I think he can go three, Noah. I think he can go three. I would be willing to test going home if I'm him, as bad as they've been fielding today. I mean, they've got an 11-0 run lead. There's no reason not to try it. Unless they just want to get out of here, get the Buffalo Wild Leagues quicker. Yes. Next up, Aaron Hopkins. That's a big hit from him right at the shortstop. And there's another one. And that's going to be an error on the first baseman as one comes in to score for Delta Chi. Someplace, somewhere, Sonny Bashera is shaking his head. Actually, they're in Jacksonville State right now. Okay, somewhere, and that's in Oxford, Alabama. Oh, yeah, it is. It somewhere is. It is in bad. Oxford, Alabama, probably at a baseball field, Sonny Bashera shaking his head. Thomas Hesting is going to take one off the shoulder for ball number two. The junior from Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville is a good place up in the northern part of the state, Space City. That's a bad swing right there. And it's 2-2. Two, two. One more strike does him out. That's going to be ball three. We've got a full count here, folks. Big payoff pitch right here. If you can get the second out, if you can get him to strike out here and not put the ball in play, that's a very big win. There's the hit right of the pitcher. That's out number two. Slide at third. And he's not able to catch it, but he's going to stay there. I was just about to say, if they put a ball in play, they will be able to score a run. They very well could have right there, so I'm they, still right. They could. <laughs> Next up is Aaron Hopkins, freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. He's got two outs and a runner on third. Let's see what he does. He's going to take ball two. So that pitch is low. So when you're in a big winner-take-all game like this, and you just come out... There's and a, get absolutely wrecked. And Rick, they do as he's able to single that one into left field as Delta Chi brings in another run to make it 13-0. to Like, if you're a manager of this team, what do you tell the team? Like, you all have another chance to get this bad taste out of your mouth. You have to sit on this for a whole offseason. You know what you do? What? You ball. You ball. <laughs> yeah, next year. Exactly. But then it could be like a Mike Holden Nevich situation. That's going to be a strike as it's 2 2. Like this pitcher has to sit on this performance for a year. Man, you're making me laugh so hard that I can't even concentrate on the words to say to describe this game. Well, it's pretty comical. There's a big hit. That one is going to go all the way to the fence as two more should come across for Delta Chi. Right, throws in, but it's not going to make it. 15-0 Delta Chi right here in the second. What do you say we calculate some ERAs? I'm not smart enough to do that, Daniel, but you can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> George Chamberlain's up, two outs. That's a big hit. That's a bad angle by the right fielder. That one's going to get to the fence, and I can already predict what's going to happen here. That's inside, inside Parker. the Parker. <laughs> here's the Delta Chi manager saying, up easy, up easy. I could have predict predicted that when the uh, ball came off. That. So at this point, the pitcher for five Sigma Kappa has a 72 ERA. That is a big drive to center, but he's going to get to it as this nightmare of an ending finally ends. To say I'm shocked and stunned they got to that's an understatement. Shun too. We are in mercy, mercy rule territory, ladies and gentlemen. If High Sigma Kappa is hold, held scoreless, that's the game. They would have to score two runs to keep it alive. <laughs> oh, yes. Excuse me. Two runs. Two runs. Eight. If I'm them, I'm for Just get this embarrassment over. I mean, you can't do that. It's championship. Nah. That's just taking the sport and throwing it away. Well, I mean, 
Yeah, good point. Good point. It's called dignity. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you didn't even good recently? Eating anything good? Yeah. If you take ramen noodles and just pour the seasoning pack in it and eat it dry, you it's know the where best you could always get a good meal? Where? Buffalo Wild Wings. Good. This is not a paid promo, just if you feel so inclined in the Auburn Opelika area, that is the place to be. Joe Cole up the bat. That's a swing right to the third baseman on the short hop. Not even going to throw it over the first, as that is a single for Phi Sigma Kappa. Next up to the plate, number 11, Logan Grandy. There's the pitch. That's going to fall as a ball, 2-1. 3 1 the count. Here's the pitch. That's a swing and a hit right through center field. As that's going to be an easy signal, single for five signal Kappa. So if you were Delta Chi, do you feel any pressure at all to kind of go for the mercy roll after this inning? Or do you just kind of ride it out, just don't really take any risks? I mean, I, you always want to be on top of your game. You know, you never want to take your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, I agree. Tommy finds a, a big swing. This foul ball makes it strike two. If he does another foul ball, he's out. And that is the first foul ball of the day. It is. Uh, as I was saying, uh, two strikes on you and you foul it off. That is strike number three in this league. Because there's the pitch. And that one's hit. Back over to the left field. As it's just going to be a single as it falls short of the fence. Yeah, Jeff! <laughs> Do you think there's any possibility of a, a big inning from Phi Sigma Kappa or maybe producing 10 or so runs and putting him right back into this game? I think it could definitely happen. I can see it happening right here with Jeff Leach from Destin, Florida. There's the pitch. That's going to be strike two. What can we talk about the camera quality on this game? Just such good work. Very thankful. As it's two and two. A uh, big part of that camera quality is this beautiful day we're having. Yes. It's pitch to Jeff Leach. Swing. Right in the third baseman as it gets by him. One comes in. And they're going to hold him at one. And there's another player shaking up for five six in the cap. Yeah, CD. Let's go. Holding his leg in third base. <laughs> Well, Phi Sigma Kappa has started to crawl, crawl their way back into it. <coughs> They've gotten one run. As it'll be St. Hilaire, number 260 from New Orleans, Louisiana. He's going to take ball one, or excuse me, ball two. There's ball number three, three one. Virgil walking them here. That's going to walk one in. As the mercy rule will go bye bye in the bottom of the third if that happens. That's going to be strike two, though. Full count. Big payoff pitch here, Noah. Here's the pitch. Falls right in. That's strike three. First strike out of the game. That's Tommy White. That's his first strikeout. Yeah. And big guy here. Right off the pitcher's leg. They're going to get one. And they're not going to get one. Falls right out of his mitt. And that's just, you hate seeing stuff like that. Just sloppy fielding. And that, that never wins games. It never. does not. If anything, it loses the games. Yeah. When chaos, five Sigma Kappa will bring another runner in. There goes the mercy roll in the bottom of the third. It's 16 to 2. There's the pitch. Does not fall in. It's 2 1. 
Mark Andrews hitting from Cincinnati, Ohio. Pitch, big hit right to the second baseman. One. That's going to be the second out of the ball game. And you see me, Delta Kai here. Top third. You see Delta Kai here. They're not really taking many chances. They're just getting the outs where they can get them. They've got a big lead, lots of runs to play with. No reason to believe that they can't just extend their lead even more. Here's Christian King. His first pitch is going to be a ball. Here's the other pitch. That's a big swing right at the third baseman. There is the third out of the top of the third. It's pretty refreshing to see a team get out of the inning only allowing three runs. It is. Uh, when this inning first started, we thought, oh, I think Delta Kappa has got it right here. Delta Kappa has got it. They can easily end it right here. Phi Sigma Kappa says, no, we're going to put up three runs to make sure it does not end in the top or she mean the top and third. Well, if Delta Chi can find a way to put up two here, they're right back in that same situation. Indeed. And with the way they've been scoring runs, no reason they can't put up more than two. No, not at all. And even if um, if Phi Sigma Kappa is able to survive that, once the fifth inning ends, or once the top of the fifth ends, if they have ten run lead, it's over. It is. First up for Delta Chi, Luke Darwin. That's the swing right to the shortstop. It goes off his glove. So that's another error on Phi Sigma Kappa's far part. I wish I'd been counting. I wish too. What do you think? What, what's your guess? It's got to be 10. Too many. It's got to be 10. Too many. No way it's any way. No way it's less. Kyle oh, Yankers next up. There's the pitch. That one's going to hit his body to make it ball number two. Count 2-1. Two, That's a swing right there. So it gets past the third baseman off the left fielder's glove, but it's only going to be a single. It's just it's just barely blocked up. By the field. I really hope his girlfriend isn't here. I would want I wouldn't want to be seen playing like that. Hey folks, next up is Matt Barley. There's the swing, grounder, foul. So it'll be one two. They waited a long time to call that foul. They did. This is the one. Excuse me. We got us a time for a tied shoe. Here's the one-two pitch. Swing at to the third baseman. He catches it. Takes the easy out at third. And we have one out in the bottom of the third. It's kind of refreshing to see a uh, five Sigma Kappa record a run before, uh, record an out before they record a run here. That's the first time that's happened today. It is refreshing. Maybe they do know how to field. Steps Tommy White. He takes a big crack at it. Right over. That's one. And they're going to stop it there as we have runners at first and third with two outs in the bottom of the third. I do have to say, this has been quite the one-inning turnaround that now they know how to field base softballs. It is. That's going to be a ball. What do you think that message to the team was? Um, our season's about to be over if we don't turn this around. That's what I would be willing to guess it was. That's a good analogy right there. As that one's going to go off the bat to the right fielder. Simple, simple out number three to end the third. Inning number four with Delta Chi still up 16-3. to three. Obviously, the 15-run uh, mercy rule is not in effect right <laughs> now, but that 10-run mercy rule after five could uh, easily be it. Uh, As Delta Chi takes the field defensively again at the top of the fourth inning. Holding a 13 run lead. Do you expect this coming out here to the sportsplex today, Daniel? Nope. 
Oh. Travis Heavy's up the bat as the first pitch. That one's going to be a ball. 2 1. Looked like it was outside. 2 1 pitch. It's hit near the top of his body. Shortstop. Off. Bang, bang play at first. And we have a runner on first base. So, obviously, you never can say never. But with the way this is going, do you think there's a real possibility of Fison and Capital clawing their way out of this hole? If they continue the momentum, I think they've got it. There's the pitch. That ball was a ball. This is a pop fly. And it's going to land foul. That seemed to be a pretty easy play at third, but it's uh, going to produce in a foul ball. And that's one that you just got to have. Count is 1 2. Here's the pitch. That's a hit ball right to the left fielder, and it's an out. Hayden Anderson up the plate, junior from Prattville, Alabama. Looking to do something for his team. They've had some momentum, trying to pick it back up. There's the first pitch. That one is high, 2-1. One pitch. It's going to be a ball as it falls just before the plate. 3-1 count. Take sign might be on. It was. As that's strike number two, we got ourselves a full count. You got to swing the bat here. Okay, off pitch. He does swing the bat as that one's hit right up in the air to the shortstop. Two outs. Five Sigma Kappa right here in the bottom of the fourth. Top of the fourth, oh Lord. At this point, they're going to have to score some in every inning to catch up, and they're going to have to hold the uh, Delta Chi scores. Is that one is going to be a foul ball, not caught by any of the fans here at the Sportsplex. Nope. That is number 13, Joe Call, freshman from Chicago. I love the Windy City. 1-2 pitch. It's going to be hit, but it's going to be a pop fly right to the second baseman. Out number three ends the, excuse me, ends the top of the fourth inning. We had a scoreless inning. We did. Been, I like take that long. back. We didn't. It was the bottom third, top of the fourth. Never mind. We didn't. Maybe we can. We had a scoreless two halves. Yes. Basically the same thing. Yeah, two halves make a hole. Who, is there anybody on this field that's really impressed you? No. Daniel? No. no. Good call. Good call. Who, who, which one of these two teams impressed you more? Oh, tell Scott. Okay, you say that, but I, you got to think about it this way, though. Five Sigma Kappa has been down. They've done nothing. Beginning, but they have fought back. This no. game could have ended, it, ended a whole runs. inning ago. They're down 13 runs. They haven't batted it back. But they were down 16 at one point. If they can get it to a single-digit game, we can talk. Okay, okay. There's the first pitch. That one's off his leg. Make it 2-1. My goodness. If, if you're the manager, you've got to find a new arm. It's working fine. Yeah. You do. Thomas Hesting is up. There's the pitch. Right in the pitcher. Easy play for the pitcher right there. Hit right to him. Quick reflexes by him. Next up is Aaron Hopkins, freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. As he's going to take that one behind the back for the two to make it 2 1. It's, it was, it was tough 2 1 pitch off his body makes it 3 1. Take sound, might be on. Take sound was not on, as that's kind of a bad thing. Why he swung at that, I have no idea. Meaning score-wise. Here's a full count pitch (laughs) as he's going to miss that one to make it strike number three, out number two. We might have a one, two, three inning. Here's number seven, Joe Oski, as he takes the first pitch for a strike. He's going to be way behind on the count as it's one, two. 
Yeah. Big pitch. Big hit. Big pop fly. As this is going to go right out to the left fielder and be caught for the third out of the fourth inning. We had a whole inning with no runs. We did. You predicted it, Daniel. I did. So, at this point, if Phi Sigma Cap, let's say Phi Sigma Cap goes scoreless again, Delta Chi would need two runs to walk it off in the bottom of the fifth. I thought it was just 10. We're in the fifth inning. Now they just need 10 runs. Okay, so Phi Sigma Kappa has to score three runs here. They do. They do. If they cannot score three runs here, this game is over. Man, I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. I don't think so. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Hope they do. Gives us more time to boot together. Here's the first pitch. And that's going to be hit right to the shortstop. Textbook play by him to get the out. Fantastic stretch by the first baseman. That's a good start. They've seen two more, and they are Auburn University intramural small frat champions. They are, and they did it in five innings. Next up, Tommy Alberts. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's going to fall as a strike. The New Jersey boy. Barely in the batter's box. 1-2 pitch. It's hit right at the shortstop again. He makes another great play, but that one is going to just fall short as he's able to leg out the single. That's a good job by the Delta Chi first baseman. He always lost that one, but he didn't let it get away. Next up, <laughs> Jeff Leach, the junior from Destin Fork. That's a nice place. It is a nice place. We should go. One, one count. Foul ball. Sixteen to three, Delta Chi. If three runs don't come across for Phi Sigma Cappy, this ball game is over. And all the hard work for the season for not. One two count, one out. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a ball just outside. Two two count. Pitch. Big hit right to the third baseman. It's going to go off his glove. We they're going to hold him at second, so it'll be just a single. That reminds me of the Phil Buckner play in the World Series. Next up, 260 St. Hilaire from New Orleans, Louisiana. This is the first pitch, and it's going to be a ball. He hits a home run, and I see McCaff is only down by 10. There's the pitch. There's the hit, excuse me, goes just over the second baseman as they're going to round somebody home. And he's going to make it. That's one across for Phi Sigma Cappy. It's 16 to 4. They have done at least enough to make sure this continues one more half inning. Mark Andrews is next up. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. Here's the 1 1 pitch. There's the pitch. Oh, just off the pitcher's cap. As one's going to come in, 16-5. Delta Kai's still in the league. Pitcher took like a champ. He got hit hard. He was called up. Well, yeah, obviously. One out, top of fifth. One across the board, one one count. Here's the pitch. That's right through the gap as they're going to wave one home. He's going to make it as the third to third goes away. As we have runners on second and third, it's 16 to six. Delta Cot still in the lead. They need perfection to end this one. They do. No more runs if they want to win in this half inning. Christian King up to bat. New Orleans, Louisiana. 
I love New Orleans. James, me and James were walking in. We saw the kids gushing. We are exchanging bats. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. That one's going to fall the ball just outside. You got sexy through. Pitch goes, ends up a hit right in the shortstop as one comes in for Phi Sigma Kappa as this is going to be 16-7. We're at least guaranteed another half inning of baseball as we got an out at first. Absolutely. And, you know, I do have to give credit where credit is due. They have battled back here. I'm impressed. To never, be honest, I am too. Never gave up hope. There's another hit right at the shortstop. Is that an out? I'll do it for the top of the fifth. But at this point, Delta Kyle is one to go home champs. They do. So what kind of pressure does that put on Five Sigma Kappa here? You have to have relentless, flawless defense. Not a single run across the plate where your season of hard work is over. It puts a lot of pressure on them. As a, wi a wiser man once said, pressure makes diamonds. A wise man did say that. But, you know, you have Travis Henry on the mound for Five Sigma Kappa. Giving up 16 runs on the day through four innings pitch. Averaging about four runs per inning, and they're going to have to be perfect here. They are. It's going to be. Really? George Chamberlain with a big hit to center. Not going to get down, though, as it's out number one. They're not going down easy, that's for sure. Not going down easy at all. They came here to fight, make the game look better. One's across the board, one ball, one strike, one out. This is Cole Ethan up at bat. There's the pitch, and that's a hit. It's a pop fly to the left, uh, left fielder. He easily catches that. New Orleans native St. Hilaire really done a good job redeeming himself for all the fielding blunders in the first inning. They are. They've already got two outs on two pitches. Because it's Luke Draw Hickey. Draw that's a big hit. It's deep. It's deep. But it's going to be caught by the center fielder to end the bottom of the fifth. Three pitches, three outs. I've got to say, Noah Phillips, I'm impressed. I'm impressed, too. They may not win this game, but they've won the people's hearts. Okay. They are the people's champion. No. They are the small fraternity people's champion. Okay. I'm not exactly sure about that one. They're my champions. Okay. I see McCaffrey. This is going to be. An uphill battle still. They want to win this game. They've guaranteed themselves. Another chance to hit. They're going to need a lot more. They're going to be not, in fact, to tie this game up. Here's the pitch. That's a big hit right to center field. That's going to be a single. First pitch, first hit. They're making momentum over there. Hayden Anderson next up. One one pitch. That's going to be a pop fly right back to the pitcher. Routine play. That's the first out of the top of the sixth. Still a lot of work to do, but they're on good pace here. The man to do it is Joe Call. Across the board. Here's the pitch as he has to moonwalk out of there pretty much to not get hit as it's ball number two. Big pitch, big hit. That ball's gone. That ball is very close to being out of here, but it's not going to go that far as the left fielder catches it. Yeah. Got to respect the effort. Yeah. Two outs for five, a Sigma Kappa. Four outs remaining in total form unless they give up two runs in the next inning, next half inning. 
pitch is going to be high. This is 2 1. Here's the pitch, and the hit is calf. And it's going to be 3 1. This takes on on. Takes on. He's 100% on. Let's see if he follows through with his coach's orders right here. Oh, he star orders. Pitches up. He swings at it. As that one's going to be hit right to the left fielder. It's a routine out number three in the top of the sixth. So as we head to the bottom of the sixth here, still remain 16-17 Delta Chi. They still just need one run to put it away. They need one run, but I think by sending effort here today, they want that intramural championship trophy. Well, they're going to have to score something. They are. I think they have an opportunity right here to at least hold Delta Chi and guarantee themselves three more outs to score. No. The fact you can say that with a straight face, I have to give you props. I play poker on the weekends, Daniel. Got it. That makes sense. <laughs> Batting first from Wimbledon, Texas, Kyle Yaker. Pitches up, and it's going to be a ball. Make it 2-1. Having a good day with the plate so far and new balances. That one's going to hit the plate, make it 3-1. Take some mop me on. Yes. Pitches up. Take some's not on if that ball is deep, deep, deep. That one's going to hit the fence, though. He's going to make it three. Go home. Why not? In the hey, game. wave him on. In the Throws game. up. He's in. That's an out. Big throw from the left fielder to get that out at home. Hey, that play was kind of electric. It was electric. This we, is a big deal. It is a big deal. As we move on to Matt Braley. <laughs> He's coming in to hit with one out. Tomahawked it right at the shortstop. Throw is over the first baseman's head. There it goes. Bad fielding. Where have we seen that before? Oh, this game. Now, Delta Chi does have a couple uh, girls in their dugout. That might be distracting them. And may not why that may be why they weren't able to put this game away as that one hit right in the second baseman. That's one. That could be two, but it's not gonna be. Delta Chi still has one runner on first. Two outs. Yeah, probably Pitches up. That's gonna be hit. Right past the third baseman. Dylan Hall hit that, as that one's going to get through the left fielder. Man. He's rounding him in, and, and that Kai is all she wrote. Wow. You know, you had sold me a little bit on five six in the capper. Now I feel a little bad. I had hope. Final score of this one, 17 well, to when, 7. When you give up nine runs in the first inning, what more can you really expect? At least they put up a fight. Coming up is the men's independent game. In just around about five minutes. Lord, I thought this game only took about 30 minutes, it felt like. But folks, we're going to see you here on Weagle 91.1 FM's YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me, Daniel Locke. We'll see you in the next one.